Hey everybody, this is Sean from The Verge, and I am standing here in front of what's probably going to be the most ridiculous thing we see here all week at the 2020 Consumer Electronics Show, which is a Mercedes-Benz concept car inspired by the 2009 film and soon-to-be franchise, Avatar. Honestly, there's a lot. I don't really know where to start with this car. It is a concept car first and foremost, which means that this thing is not gonna be on the road anytime soon. And it's really meant to be a showcase for a lot of different technologies that Mercedes-Benz has spent some of the last couple years working on, whether that's autonomous vehicle technology, electric vehicle technology, or human machine interface interaction, user experience inside the cockpit kind of technology. But first, I think we should just talk about the look of the thing. There are 33 bionic flaps or scales uh, going all the way up the rear end of the car that move up and down and Mercedes-Benz says they could you know, potentially be used as a way of communicating with maybe other vehicles on the road, pedestrians who are crossing around a car. One of the other really wild things about this car is that it has these sort of spherical wheels uh, that can move in multiple different directions. They enable the car to move not only sideways but diagonal. And we got a little bit of a taste of that when the car rolled out here on stage tonight. The wheels on the car were supposedly inspired by the seeds from the big tree in the movie Avatar. And that's not the only thing. There are a lot of other touches on this car that are supposedly uh, drawing inspiration from the film. And in fact, it wasn't just inspiration. Mercedes-Benz went and worked with some of the people behind Avatar. Like pretty much every other automaker on the planet right now, Mercedes-Benz and its parent company Daimler have laid out pretty big ambitious goals for reducing their carbon footprint over the next 20 or so years and so that's really where I think the inspiration actually came from from this car. The company wanted to present a concept that was going to reflect how they are thinking about these green sustainable technologies and so they decided to make this car which is an electric concept car and has you know sort of vegan leather on the inside it has recycled plastics used on the interior materials and I think as they started to work up some of those ideas and cohere them into a concept car uh, there must have been some partnership struck with uh, the people behind Avatar and their themes that run through that movie and the upcoming movies about sort of protecting the natural resources around you apparently melded well enough for them to design an entire Avatar car or have a car if you will and I will the inside of the car is another really kind of wild looking piece of tech, which is this control unit, which comes up out of the center console, sort of accordions up to meet your hand. And according to Mercedes-Benz, it will vibrate along with your heartbeat and breathing. But I got to try the tech earlier today. It's still a very concept version. It's not actually really working. Like it wasn't really actually mimicking my breathing, but the thing did come out of the center console. It was sort of vibrating a little bit. The seats were vibrating too. Uh, and then that's supposed to be something that you could use to kind of control the car. It's really the only way you can interact with this car because there are no buttons, there's no steering wheel, there's just one giant display that stretches up from the center console and into the windshield. In many ways, this is kind of like the ultimate consumer electronic show concept car announcement. It hits pretty much all of the beats that we typically see automakers pick out.